Hello, Lorings. Lucky you, I'm broadcasting. Well, 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 you're gonna be on my channel as of this weekend. So get ready to play the game. Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and if you're watching, you know what time it is. It's time for Duels of the Planeswalkers 2013. I'm up against Lorinx, and Lorinx, no, not the Lorax, no association, appears to know about me. Now, that could be good, it could be bad, it could mean he knows my strategies inside out, but does he know what deck I'm playing? I don't think so. I don't think that he could see where this is going. Can he see where this is going? Okay, now he knows what's going on. Now he knows that the, the, the jig is up. He knows the jig is up. He knows my plan is to just attack with his cracking hatchling until I beat him into submission. Lorinx could be playing goblins. No, he is playing. I, I'm going to guess Mindstorms. He's playing Mindstorms. No, okay. He's playing Grinning Malice. So what's quite interesting is uh, this matchup right here. We have one of the DLC decks against one of the old school decks. Old school. We got Talran's deck in here. I got. I'm sitting on some nice cards. I, I, I have a pretty good board position, so I really want to see how this goes. I have not had this matchup. Oh, I mean, I played Grinning Malice plenty of times because in that fucking Wizards of the Coast tournament. Okay, what does this shit do? Uh, that's bad. But at the same time, he doesn't actually have anything that could scare me. I can counter something this turn, and next turn, and get a KO Mancer, and get a counter back. You know I'm going to counter it. I'm going to counter it, because I won't be able to stop this later unless I get Disperse. So I'm just going to counter it. Maybe that's a mistake, but I guess we'll find out really soon. Um, what was I saying? So in that Wizards of the Coast two-headed giant... Oh, wow. All right. I'm happy with this. In the Wizards of the Coast two-headed giant tournament, there were eight teams, including my team with Districted. All right? Out of the eight teams... Five of the teams signed up to be Sepulchral Strength and Grinning Malice. Five. Five out of eight. Go ahead. Make my day, bro. Throw a spell at me. I'm going to twin cast it all day. All day. He's waiting for me to play creature. He knows I don't have any creatures. I don't have any creatures to kill. The only thing I got is the stupid 0-4 and infinite combos. <laughs> we'll see. I just want to see. He's going to play this thing. What is this thing? All right, creatures get haste. I don't care. They're going to get haste right into my 0-4 wall. So I guess it could screw me over later, but uh, we'll see. I do have... Uh, the twin cast gives me a lot of hope. So I'm basically going to sit on this until I have 6 land. Then I can play Archaea Mancer. I get Mana Leak back, and then I could use the Mana Leak to protect my stuff. Or I could use twin cast for extra 2 mana. It's a good game plan. It's a good game plan. Got to play real conservative. Got to see what his plan is. He's probably going to play... Um, what is this shit? So we learned last time that the Cascade does not work. If I... Uh, do I let this thing Cascade? No, I can't afford to, for it to Cascade. I would love to uh, to Twin Cast it, don't get me wrong. But um, Cascade apparently does not work when you copy it. What? He still gets the Cascade? No, he don't tell me he gets the Cascade. No, wait, hold on a second. Is that how this card works? Oh, it's when they cast the spell. All right, it doesn't matter whether or not it resolves. All right. All right, I would have yeah, right. done that a little differently. At least, all right, it's a 3-1. So he can get one damage through if you want. No, he can't. He can't do anything. All right, now I'm going to drop my Archaea Mancer next time. Have him protected. Um, all right, I got this. Archaea Mancer. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Get my mana leak back. All right. Read the card. I'm just not familiar with Cascade. I didn't know it's when you cast it. I thought it was when the spell resolves. But I guess it makes sense. Because otherwise. Oh, it just hurts me. It hurts my soul. He's got 3 1. I'm willing to just absorb it. He can't do anything right now. He's got to cast something. He can't attack with these things into my impenetrable defense of a 1 2 human wizard who's reading runes off a wall. He's going to swing. He just wants to see what I do. Why wouldn't I just do this? Because he's going to do extra damage to it? I don't understand. There's got to be some kind of... Alright, that's it. No, nope, he's just testing the waters. He wants to see if I'll uh, throw my creature away. I'm hitting lots of lands here, so... Um, I don't know if he's terrified, but I really don't have anything in my hand. So far, nothing is changing. Nothing is changing. He knows I have mana leak. He doesn't know that I have two islands. 
He knows I have this card. That's it. He's got 3-1 that can't do anything. He's got a 1-1 one, one that can't do anything. So give stuff haste. Oh, God. He's sitting on five cards. What is this shit? 3-2. Do I counter this? No, I'm going to take it. You know what? I can afford to take uh, three damage a turn right now. So I'm going to... I, I reveal a card at random. I don't even think... Um, all right, so he either saw Twin Cast or Mana Leak. He saw one of them. If he attacks at the 3 1, I'm blocking Mark Cayman. All right, he's not giving this thing haste to swing in for both. Okay. So he knows that if he saw a Twin Cast, then he knows the two important cards in my hand. He doesn't know the other ones. He knows I drew a lot of lands because I'm just sitting on them here. So uh, if he attacks with both, I'm just going to throw away Mark Cayman and block this guy. And then block this guy. So he could just swing with everything, I guess, and start and get one damage through. Which I guess would be mildly upsetting to me if I were him. I really wish they would show you which card got revealed. Okay, here and here. Okay, fine. I'm, why didn't he attack? Because he doesn't want to lose the Kindler? Is it that important? The Enkindler. The Enkindler, man. This is going back to some uh, Mass Effect level shit. Doesn't look like a Blasto to me. What is this thing? Hmm. That thing's gonna get haste. And kill my guy, and then get a counter. Nope, can't let it happen. I need my wall for now. I feel like I'm gonna regret this. I feel like I'm gonna regret it. He's gonna do something really nasty to me. I would love, though, for him to cast uh, Blightning on me, and I have nothing in my hand. Absolutely nothing worth chucking. In fact, I almost feel like I should just leave my hand. I don't know. I should get the lands out. What do I have to really cost that much mana? Like nothing. Nothing costs eight mana that I'm gonna do. I'll leave one land in hand. I'll leave one. But now I'm getting a little concerned. I got plenty of walls. I got creatures with high toughness and they come in from the tides with high roughness. Yes, I've got creatures with high toughness. He's gonna blightning me. He's going to blightning me. Dude, I'm going to blightning you. <laughs> all right. Now we're even. Now we're even. All right. You happy? So I, I'm still, I want to see what he chops. I'm really wondering. Please don't have demigods of revenge. Thank God. All right. So I just check an island. So he's got two cards left. I really think he's just waiting to cast blightning until I have fewer cards. Now I'm top deck. I'm in top deck mode. Really? Really? That's what I'm going to draw. I'm going to hold this. So he thinks I have something good, but I have nothing. I got nothing. He's got two cards, three cards now. One of them's a land. He can't have anything that good. I feel like he's got removal. I feel like he's got situational removal. Okay, I don't know what his plan is here. He's, he's testing me. He's going to drop another one of those witches and do the exact same things before. Let's see it. He's testing me. I know it. I know, he, I know, he, I know he's toying with me. He's doing the same thing that I would do to him. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> I'm going insane. All right. All right. That that has uses. So I'm going to play this right now because I'm, I don't think he has artifact destruction. I could be very, very wrong. But it, he definitely has discard. And I cannot risk the discard dropping that out of my hand. So that's going on the table. That just happened. So I just suggest you just play everything in your hand right now, like all of it, really, just right now. That's, I really, really hope he doesn't do that. Terminate, okay. All right, Terminate, zero, 4 So he's been sitting on a Terminate and Wrecking Ball. I'm other guy, now he can swing for damage. So that's what he had, I was completely right. He was sitting on removal because he wanted to wait until there's something worth removing. What he didn't realize is that there's no creatures in my deck other than defensive little guys. So it isn't going to happen. Now I'm sitting on a clock. I'm going to lose in like three turns. So I need to draw something worth casting on Panoptic Mirror. Okay. Okay. That's worth casting on Panoptic Mirror. I'm going to save that in my hand um, in case I need to imprint it in response to something. If he casts one of those discard spells, I could get it out of my hand. He's going to swing for four. He's going to swing for four again. Does this thing have haste? It could. Oh, shit. He's going to give haste. I'm going to take seven. This sucks. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. If I get a time warp, I can be in good position. Alright, nothing I can really do there. 
Good, good, good. All right, I lose next turn. I lose. Well, I got chump blockers for the rest of the game. Got chump blockers forever. So that's worth something. Okay. Okay, now we're talking. Flow of ideas, draw a card for every island you control. Bazoom, I couldn't print it. But that's really risky. That's basically saying, I believe his last card won't screw me over. If he gets one creature through, I lose. I need to draw 10 cards right now, okay? And find something that's gonna save me. I know there's cards that can save me in here. Okay, I could write a replicate something. I feel like that needs to go on a stick. I could drop the fog bank. I could drop both fog banks to just guarantee I live until next turn and then drop right of replication. You know what? That's what I'm gonna drop a fog bank. Of course, if he gets a blightning, I lose. But at this point, I don't have a choice. I absolutely need defense. I need the defense. This could still go either way. This is tense. This is tense. All right. All right, I got defense out. I'm gonna chuck an island. Don't need islands. Already got enough. Flow of ideas and printed would be pretty hilarious. Um, it would also be really like running out of my entire library really fast. And keep in mind, you don't have to use Panoptic Mirror. It is optional. You don't have to cast a spell. You can choose a spell you want, if any spell. Blightning. It's Blightning. Or he's got Demigod of Revenge. He needs to know. He just needs to get anything other than this guy through. Alright, Tutor. What's he going to Tutor for? He needs to be able to kill two of my guys. Then I only have two blockers. Then he needs to kill three of my guys. He knows he's in trouble because I just drew ten cards. And the odds that none of them benefit me are pretty damn low. What would I take? If I could... Uh, oh my god, dude. If I write or replicate this ogre... <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Alright. Alright. So... I'm going to put a right of replication on this thing now. Because it is way more... Way more important than uh, getting more town ran tokens. So let's do right of replication. Let's... Oh god, I could put five creatures on the valve. I need, I need my land though, because I need to be able to draw into a counter to prevent like a fatal spell. Because he definitely drew one. He just, he just drew something nasty. Alright, I'm going to do this creature so I can possibly see what's in his hand. He's gonna reveal a card from his hand and take damage equal to it. What does he got? He's got Massacre Worm! Massacre Worm! Shit! Shit! <laughs> Ouch! Alright, I really need to draw a counter. This shit is intense. Oh, shit. Could I win with this this turn? If I draw it, I can't. The bribery, is there any way bribery could save me? Does he have any gain life cards in his deck? I need to top deck into a, a counter. Oh! Oh my god, guys! Yu-Gi-Oh! Heart of the cards, please give me counter. How many counters have I used, by the way? All right, just one. All right, so it's definitely possible. All right, come on. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck. Wait, can I win? If, I mass if, if he reveals Massacre Worm, he loses six life, he goes down five. I don't have enough creatures to kill him. Ugh. Wait, if I bounce Massacre Worm in response to his first ability going off, then what? What happens? I don't know what happens. Then it won't be in play when all the creatures die, so I won't lose the life right away. But my creatures will still die, and he'll trample over me with his 4-4 guy, because I'm only a 3. Is that it? Yes. I lost. I'm pretty sure I lost. I'm pretty sure I lost. Alright, alright. Well, let's see him play. Come on. Yeah, do it. Yeah, definitely didn't draw what I need right there. Three of those in a row. Maybe he'll think that I really have a counter. If he thinks I have a mana leak. Oh, he doesn't have three swamps! Holy shit, I forgot he doesn't have three swamps anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. All right, Jesus. 
Okay. All right, that thing is mildly problematic, except I can copy it every single turn. So I got that going for me. I could also bounce to his hand. This is really rough. All right, he's going to give this thing haste, so I'm going to bounce it in response. And draw another card. I really need to draw into those counters. Okay, keep watch. Very useful. I got bribery. I could copy a creature. Dude, oh my god. Wait, no! Oh my god, I think I'm going to win. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. I'm going to write a replicate times f five on this thing. He's going to reveal five times cards in his hand, and then I win. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! It's brilliant! It's brilliant! Five copies of this creature. Oh, go on. Can you please show me every card in your hand five times? Yes. 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 Yes! Yes! GG, man. GG. Woo! I'm Wingspan TT, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!